In this module, uh, we are now taking up another uh, discussion in uh, procedural and interventional pulmonology. We'll talk of central airway obstruction, uh, management and try and make it a little simple for you. Um, but we'll have an interventional focus and this basically is a changing paradigm which you all are going to see where we are uh, trying to show that we as interventional pulmonologists or as procedural pulmonologists will actually make a difference in trying to treat airway stenosis and obstruction. The talk will guide us through the previous principles which are utilized in this particular respect. So the focus today in the time we will discuss this is going to be overview of therapeutic modalities. We would like to make you understand that therapeutic pulmonology is now here. You in your training or you in your established practice will now be looking at things a little differently. When we do this, we have inherently the desire to do all this right away. It's probably a learning process that we first understand what is there, see the sea of literature, apply it to what is there in our own practice, then acquire the skills to do some of these things or maybe all of them and then make a difference in the outcomes to your particular patient care situation. So it's very important to, un important to understand these principles and not only jump onto directly a modality which may be interesting, exciting or attractive to you. We will go through some case discussions which is the best way to make you uh, further understand what these things are all about. We will talk of some controversies. You are the generation of the future and we will basically be discussing what is the leftover aspects in this field and then we will conclude with some uh, with a summary. What is the etiology of airway stenosis? So this is a whole bunch of things can cause airway stenosis. Commonest will be post intubation, post tracheostomy. We know that critical care increased by leaps and bounds. The juggernaut of critical care came with more ventilation. As we ventilated more and patients were a longer time on with, with endotracheal tubes or tracheostomy, we started seeing more and more of post intubation and post tracheostomy.